Hey guys, welcome back. Chris Knight, Business Development Manager with Red Door Property Management, bringing you another market report. This one being for Anderson, an expanding investor market, January 2023. Two areas that we're really paying attention to this month is going to be the median price graph as well as the days on market. So let's pay attention to both of these. Uh, Anderson has really shown a stabilized market for the latter part of last year, and the average days on market are looking really attractive as we get into 2023. So take a look at that, uh, and let's dive right in. All right, let's get to it. Let's jump into the Anderson January 2023 market report. I was very excited about this one. Uh, interesting stuff has been happening in the Anderson market. Not only that, it's an expanding invest investor market as well. Uh, so let's let's get to it here. Active homes, 102. Uh, this is a similar market to Noblesville, uh, really even the Fishers as far as the number of active homes on on the market right now. So I mean, all these numbers are pretty um, they correlate pretty well together. So 102 active homes on the market. Uh, what I really have been trying to watch in all these market report updates is right here. Some early February numbers. I'm always trying to look into the future and see what's going on. Um, so, and we are also trying to establish a trend here as we're doing more and more of these market reports. Uh, very volatile market, as you'll continually hear me say on all these market reports. But uh, uh, that's that's the reality of it. That's what we find ourselves in. Uh, we're we're trying to find some stability in the market, and nobody really knows what that's going to look like right now. Although, in my opinion, I believe that's going to look like. Uh, slightly lower rents to come, uh, just to correct uh, year over year higher rents, but uh, lower rents uh, for month over month to stabilize the market out. Um, so here we go. Early February numbers coming in. We do see that decrease uh, coming that I, I am expecting uh, in a lot of these areas. Um, in fact, the only one I think this month we saw something different was if you pull up the Indianapolis market report, um, was kind of showing some different, different angles. So we're in Anderson though. So let's stay here. Uh, very interesting. You'll see this is all flat throughout the latter part of last year and Anderson really not feeling it until, uh, coming into the early part of this year. So it'll be very interesting to see what happens in next month's Anderson, uh, February report. So jumping over to average days on the market, this is pretty awesome, really. Uh, 21 days on the market is a very short time. Uh, it's a investor's dream to have uh, an average days on the market is 21 days. That's wonderful. It's down 55%, which is a dramatic uh, decrease, obviously. So that does not indicate a stabilized market when you have swings of that nature. Uh, but nonetheless, it's... Um, it's 21 days on the market, which is a really good sign for the Anderson Anderson market. Now, uh, getting into the average rents currently for the properties on the market, $899, uh, down just a little bit from December. Nothing unusual there. It's not it's not even a, a full percentage decrease. Um, and we're still up, like I was saying, year over year, still up 1%. Now, as we begin to stabilize, uh, I think that we'll begin to see this level out. In fact, it'll probably come up just slightly. We will probably land somewhere around 900 um, to 950 in a stable market being our average market rent if uh, I was to make a prediction. So we'll see where that turns out over the next few months. Now, price points here, um, The the as far as properties that are actual rentals in the Anderson market, a number of those are renting right at 800 a month in in rent so that is kind of like the sweet spot and our absorption rates again i love kind of using this as the temperature of the market uh an absorption rate of 3 doesn't necessarily indicate an unhealthy market it's it's definitely higher than i would like to see if you're unfamiliar with what an absorption rate is it would be it would indicate how many months roughly it would take to burn through our current uh, inventory if no new homes were to hit the market. And that would be roughly three months to burn through uh, 102 homes. I really like to see that around 1.5 uh, as an absorption rate to indicate a more stabilized market. But right now we are at 
an absorption rate of three. So that's our market report for Anderson January 2023. Uh, I love these market reports. Stay tuned. Follow along as we get into February and uh, March. As we get into the spring cycle, things begin to pick up. Also, I want to mention before signing off here is the average rent decreasing is uh, is pretty standard, right, for the seasonality. Um, so as we get into February, March, April, spring time frames, uh, we really should have some things uh, leaning towards a more stabilized market. Very, very excited to see what those numbers are going to indicate. So stay tuned to next month's market report. Thanks.